Hello, hello. I hope y'all are doing well today. Happy Halloween. This reading is going to be for all of my air signs, okay? Collective messages for my air signs. Sun, moon, or rising, okay? Um, with this new moon energy, what messages, spirit, do you have for my air signs? Um, spirit, spirit guides, angels, guides, spirit guides, angels. Show me clearly what messages for this new moon in Scorpio energy. What messages do you have for my air signs? My air signs, spirit. Air signs, spirit, spirit guides, angels, angels. Spirit guides, angels, show me clearly. Guides, spirit guides, angels, show me clearly. What messages do you have for my air signs? Okay. Thank you all for being here. If this message does resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, as it will really help the energy flow to this channel. Oh, one second. The cards keep falling. Okay. So. The Ten of Wands and the Sun card came out together. Okay, they came out together. So I feel like my air signs, I feel like y'all been carrying a lot of responsibilities and a lot of burdens. Okay, but Spirit is saying. You can, you, you are super strong, okay? You are super, super strong. And that success is coming, okay? May, the Sun card also talks about children. So maybe you have a lot of, you know, you have a lot of responsibilities when it comes to your children, you know? Maybe... You just, maybe you've been kind of feeling like way down, um, but, but you're doing, you're doing a great job. I feel like, you know, maybe you have to embody some of your children's energy, you know, that optimism, that light, you know, I feel like, yeah. The Queen of Wands. Yep. Yeah. The confidence that the children have. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't tell a child nothing. Okay? A confident child, you can't tell them nothing. You hear me? Nothing. They feel like they can do anything, you know? They feel like they can do it all. They feel like they can do it all. But I feel like Spirit is saying, like, yeah the devil yeah Maybe you just, maybe you've been kind of going through it. Maybe you've just been kind of going through it, trying to break certain cycles and certain chains um, with the devil card that is blocking your vision, okay? That is blocking your vision. These heavy... This, these heavy burdens have been blocking your vision, okay? They've been blocking your inner child. <laughs> They've been blocking your inner child. They've been blocking your inner child, okay? Period, point blank. This I'm like hearing it so vividly. These burdens, responsibilities have taken, you, you've allowed it to take, in your, take your light and, 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 and maybe it could have started in your childhood, to where it took the confidence from you. 
things that happened in your childhood maybe took the confidence from you, okay? Took the light, took the joy from you. Uh, life or just responsibilities in life, just things that have happened in life. You know, sometimes things happen and we just, you know, but I'm feeling like it's like childhood things. But with the devil card here, it's like, you know, this, you know, the devil card is like distractions, temptations, bad habits, you know, but I feel like between the ten of wands and the the devil, you have the sun and the queen of wands. Something is blocking. Something is blocking you from being the sun and the queen of wands. Something is blocking your inner child to come out. Something is blocking your vision, your self-confidence, your ability to create. The card's been falling all day, y'all. You got the ace of wands. Yes. It's been blocking your new beginning. It's been blocking your new beginning. It's been blocking you from taking action where you need to take action at, where spirit is calling you to take action at, where you know, yeah, like literally you're being, you have been blocking, either blocking yourself or think like chains have not been broken to where you have been blocking yourself from this new beginning. Okay, from taking action towards this new beginning. You have lacked the confidence. Why are you lacking the confidence? You are so strong. You are so freaking strong, okay? But we have to first break those certain things, okay? We have to first break those certain things in order to take action on the path that we are destined to be on, okay? I swear these cards. Oh my gosh. Yep. Hmm. Got the Seven of Cups. You might have been going through a lot of tests recently. A lot of tests. Spiritual tests, okay? Spiritual tests. Spiritual tests. Maybe you've been feeling like... I'm, I'm hearing... Are you trying to break me? Like... With with this Ten of Wands, like, are you trying to break me right now? Like, it's almost feels like it's been one one thing after the next, one thing after the next that you feel like has been testing you, or you have not been able to see the resources and the options in front of you. You have not been able to see that you can do all things. Yeah. Forward movement. The chariot. Breakthrough. You are you are breaking through this, okay? You are breaking through these cycles. You are breaking through the distractions. You are breaking through these blockages that may have been from childhood. You are break our life in general, burdens, responsibilities, whatever you're breaking, you're breaking it. You're breaking it and you are able to see. After these tests, you'll be able to see and you'll be you'll have this breakthrough. There's a big breakthrough after like a big breakthrough to where you're gonna be able to see yourself how maybe you once did when you was a kid. Yeah, alignment, alignment, divine partnership, friendship, divine connection. Mm -hmm. The high priestess. Whew. My air signs, y'all are super, y'all are super intuitive, okay? Super intuitive, super magical, super, like, manifest like you literally you can speak something into existence you can vision it into existence that's how powerful you are but something was blocking it something was freaking blocking it but i you, you you're you're breaking free you're breaking free and you're moving forward from this but i think now you know what was blocking it and now you're coming into alignment 
you're coming into alignment. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. Okay. The five of cups and the four of cups came out together. So Yeah, I feel like, like I said, it could have felt like it was one thing after the other. Maybe things, cycles coming back up. But it was blocking you. It was blocking you. It was keeping you chained to something you didn't need to be chained to any longer. And I feel like. You had to go, you had a time of reflection, okay? Where spirit, you you know, you were looking at these empty cups and you were sitting under your tree and you were not able to make any forward movement. You were not able to make any forward movement. But also I feel like spirit was like just trying to show you these Okay, I'm getting my like, spirit was trying to show you these patterns and what was blocking you. And maybe you didn't want to see it, but you knew you knew it already, but you didn't want to see it. You didn't want to really look at those certain parts of yourself that, you know, that maybe things brought back up from your childhood. The reasons why maybe you are the way that you are. Um like patterns that you have or cycles or anything like that like i feel like spirit was trying to show it to you and you were just like no mm -mm. but it was blocking you it was blocking you and it was keeping you you know in a place of like uncertainty uncertainty like when am i how am i gonna move forward like like you know you're like just in your head and in like this self kind of like pity you know, and just like, don't really want to come up out of there, you know. But say, you know, we could sit in that place of reflection. We could think about the things. We have to do the work, you know. We have to do the work. Yeah. page of wands yeah so i feel like after a time of uncertainty after a period of reflection after a period of sulking you get inspired again something inspires you again some type of news some type of news inspires you on the path forward some type of news inspires you on the path forward Hmm. Listen. What whatever you have gone through recently, whatever you've gone through, the three of swords, and then you got the ace of pentacles. I'm just saying, whatever you going through, it don't even listen. You have transformed this freaking energy. Do you hear me? When I say breakthrough, you have maybe the freaking pain or hurt that has been inflicted has inspired you. And spirit is able to show you this path, this opportunity, this prosperity that you hold, okay? That you hold in your hands, this confidence that you hold in your hands. This, this easily, you can speak, you can manifest so easily. Like you could just 
you have so much magic and it was just so many blockages and uncertainty and you trying to move forward and you're not working out and you know test after test or whatever but something happened in all of this it happened for a reason and it happened in all of this to to have you back to where you're supposed to be in in, in that inspired the sun like energy you hear me knowing that i hold i hold the world in my hands i hold this pinnacle in my hands the path is being shown to me it is enlightened to me like man you hear what i'm saying on the bottom of the deck okay the bottom of the deck ace of cups i ha i say no more i literally say no more look at this say no more baby talk about you connecting with spirit i feel like that divine connection is you reconnecting with your higher self with your higher self you feel me your higher self because ain't no way yep you know what i'm saying three pentacles collaboration like you, yeah, yeah. Some, some, some. I'm telling you, you're feeling renewed after a period of that reflection. You had to do it. You had to reflect. You had to go through this. I feel like you know now. Like you had to go. Ah, yes, I had to go through this. Or if you're still going through it, it's like you're going through it for to get you back to the space that you need to be in so that you can create <laughs> so that you can create baby so that you can create balance okay so that you can create so that you you have you alchemized okay alchemized so you could be creative again so that inner child can come out so that you can know like i i can man i can create anything that i want in this life it's so easy to me but i had to get back to this place of being joyful of being creative of being you know who i once was before all this shit was weighing on me and all these, you know, these certain things that I had to break. These cycles that I had to break. That's okay. You alchemizing. You alchemizing. You hear me? You alchemizing the pain, the heartbreak. You alchemizing it. And while you're alchemizing it, Spirit is offering you. Offering you opportunity. To, to, to step into that. To step into that position. Okay, bottom of the deck, Empress, creativity, birthing, creating, all right? Close this message out, spirit. This is really beautiful energy, okay? Like, sometimes we have to go through that dark night of the soul to get to the, te to get to the temperance. Yep. Queen of Pentacles. You're very resourceful. Very resourceful. Very resourceful energy. You can turn a penny into a dollar. You hear me? A penny into a dollar. Justice. Yes. Things balancing the fuck out for you. Balancing out for you. decisions decision use your intuition use your intuition be use your use your intuition use your imagination 
manifest from that place of alignment, of joy, of peace, enjoyment, doing things that you love to do, you know? Yep. Yep. Because spirit is, spirit is bringing opportunities from you. Look, child, uh, the six of cups. Yeah, childhood stuff. Yeah. Stuff that you feel like was taken from you. I'm just saying, you're getting it all back. Getting it all back. Things are turning in your favor. Because you alchemized the energy, okay? You had to get back into that position. So that you can, you can use all of the things. 